you look around this class, man, everything you've accomplished, everything this group's accomplished, it's a darn good Hall of Fame class here. Yeah, it's real cool to be part of it. Uh, when Scott let me know I was in and who I was going in with, you know, it was pretty humbling to say the least. Uh, and it's, it's a great honor and it's, uh, I feel like I'm part of Michigan. I, I more or less have grown up here and I plan on not leaving here, so my family's from here. So it's a, it's a real big deal and, uh, you know, the Michigan Hall of Fame is to me the best sports state hall of fame there is in America. So to come in and be inducted is, is a, such a great honor. I'm, I'm humbled by it. It's less of a cliche and more of, I think, a fact. The toughest jobs in Michigan, the Lions quarterback and the Red Wings goalie. But then have you just been overwhelmed? Flip-flops. Flip-flops? Oh, yeah, because there's certain footballs. No, well, we're going to go foot quarterback, pitcher, and then the goalie because they, they haven't started up yet. So flip-flops all around. I used to always say there'd be a, like, a pattern of it, you know, yeah. so right now it would be the quarterback, then it would be the pitchers when the playoffs come around for baseball, then around January, February, after college football is done, then it's zero in right on the goalie. Yep. You knew it was coming every year, right at the end of January, February, for good or for bad. And that's just the way it is. You got accustomed to it. Um, it never really bothered me at all. I kind of I kind of liked it a bit, but you know, sometimes people like oh, exaggerate it a bit. I, I think Stafford would say the same. I, I walked around town, people are always very positive, yeah. wanted me to do well. It was very rare. Hey, sometimes I deserve it. Sometimes I didn't play very good for long periods of time, so I understood that and I accepted it. You know, I, and I didn't have a problem with that. And uh, but when I played well, people always tell me you're playing great. So to me, um, a lot of it was white noise, and I, I have zero complaints. I mean, I remember standing on the ice and anthems going on, the crowds chanting my name, encouraging me to play well. It's, doesn't get any better than that. That's the things I remember. Fans in this town are smart, and as hard as they are on the Red Wings goalie, the Lions quarterback, have you felt an, an endearing sense of love and respect from the fans now, especially as you enter the home? Yeah, the after. Yeah. It's, it's like a fine wine. You, know, you like it better when it's on the shelf, right? It's so true. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have to wash it anymore. I played the one alumni game, and I was struggled bad, so I, I'm taking a little bit of a breather from that. So, But, yeah, I, I mean, fans appreciate what you did. I think what you went through as well, it's a tough position, and uh, you have to really relish it and, and enjoy it. And I think I did. And, I, listen, I... I have no complaints. The fans out of 10 times backed me nine times for sure, all the time, and, and wanted to see me do well, and uh, I appreciate that, and uh, always give back to the, the state of Michigan as much as I can, and, and they're a big reason why I'm standing here today. Yeah. We love having you, man. Congratulations. Yeah. I'll be Thank up you. on the stage with you Thanks. in a little bit. Okay. Thanks a lot for the time. Yeah. Thanks.